All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Ruha HaKodash. Double honors unto the elder high priest that taught my elder apostles, as well as my elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Uh, peace and blessings unto the elect, starting with the 144,000, okay? Which are men, the governing body, all right? Of the nation of Israel. All right, as well as the one third, okay, which consists of men, women, and children. Okay, and this is the brother Atazaria from the Great Millstone, Houston. And I'm gonna get right into this lesson. Okay, I had heard this song, okay, because I got it in, uh, in a playlist, and I had never really, you know, never really, you know, I just listened to it. I like the song, I like what he's saying, but I never thought about the things that he was saying, you know, got, you know, really got deep on what, what he was saying in his song. And in one of the lyrics in his song is, uh, the story of OJ by Jay-Z. Okay. And it says, uh, in one of the lines right here, I got it right here. It says financial freedom, my only hope. Well, matter of fact, let me go up a little bit. see uh, no, I'll get right to the point um here in this in these uh lines it says you want to know what's more important than throwing away money at a strip club he says credit you ever wonder why small hats own all the property in America here's how they did it and then he goes on to say financial freedom my only hope so and he says if living rich and dying broke. Okay, I bought some artwork for one million two years later, it's worth two million. A few years later, it's worth eight million. So what he's saying is he's got an asset that is going to increase in value as time goes on. Okay. And it's something that he can leave for his children for their inheritance. Okay, because he doesn't believe in the inheritance that we believe in. Okay, he doesn't believe that this place is about to go out. Okay, or he may, who knows at this point. All right, because this truth ain't hid up under no rock, man. Okay, even the demon I dealt with sent me to something today by you. I see, I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> you know. So the word is out there, okay? So, and what we've been enlightened with through the Rakaqwa Dash, the Holy Spirit, is the understanding of these scriptures. That's where our hope lies. This place is about to go down and the kingdom of heaven is coming up, man. Okay, which we see it, okay? We can clearly see it through the Holy Spirit, okay? The Rakaqwa Dash, all right? So, I want to get some scriptures, okay, and deal with this hope, okay, because the scriptures tell us, uh, matter of fact, I got it right here, and this is the book of Romans. I really like to start at one, because that, that whole chapter is fire, but I'm going to get straight to the point for the sake of time, because I got to go to the damn, I got an appointment at uh, 10, Okay, uh, straight to the point, this is Romans 15 and 13, it says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope, okay, through the power of the Holy Spirit, okay? Let me read it again. Now the God, Yahweh Yahushua of hope, so the Most High Yahweh Yahushua is the power of hope, okay? Fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Okay? Believe in what? In him, the son, and all that's happened, what's happening, and what's to come. Okay? Our hope is in the scriptures, in this understanding. It says that ye may abound in hope. Okay? overflowing, going over the bounds, all right, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Rechah Kodash, 
Okay? Racha HaKodash. All right? So, let's get a couple of more scriptures. I'm going to try to hit them, you know, hit uh, straight to the point. But it may not go that way. It all depends on what the Spirit uh, has me to do. So, let me see. I want to get a couple of more scriptures for sure. Let's go here. I want to pull this up. All right, dealing with hope. Okay, and again, let's go to the book of Ephesians. Let's get that. Uh, let's see. Because this, this chapter here, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start. Um, mm, man, okay. Uh, All right, you know, let me start at about verse, uh, dang, man, man, let me get to the point. All right, uh, let's go to, let's start at 16. This is Ephesians 1 and 16. It says, cease not to give thanks for you. All right, shit, Salakia, uh, making mention of you in my prayers. That the power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the Father of Glory, I guarantee you that's for that appointment. So, like, you bear with me one second. Let me pause this. Damn, yeah, man. So, like, you. All right. Um, where we at? The Ephesians 1 and 17. It says that the God of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, the power of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the Father of Glory, Yahweh, may give unto you the Spirit of Wisdom and Revelation in knowledge of Him. Okay, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Okay, see through the Spirit we were enlightened and got this understanding. Okay, it says that ye may know what is the hope of His calling. All right. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Okay. This is what we're dealing with. This is the inheritance we're looking forward to. Okay. Because we know this place is going down through this understanding. All right. It says. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. All right. That ye may know what is the hope of his calling. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And who are the saints? The Israelites. It says, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, Lord, who believe. Okay. So we have to have, we have to believe. Okay. Who believe according to the working of his power, which he wrought in Hamashiach, Yahweh when he raised him from the dead. And set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Okay. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this world but also in that which is to come. And had put all things under his feet and gave, to, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Alright. Which is his body. The fullness of him. That fill it all in all. Okay. Now I want to get another scripture. Okay. Let me see where it was at. I think this was it. Let me see. Is it 1 Corinthians? Let me see if this is it. Let me see, I think uh, I'll follow. Let me see. 
This is a good one though. Let me see. So lock it. Give me one second. That with me a second.